Hi, my name is Spencer, and today I'll be reacting to Star Trek Lower Decks Season 5, Episode 1. This is, unfortunately, the last season of Star Trek Lower Decks, but who knows, maybe we'll see these characters in, in other Star Trek media. I did re-watch the finale of last season, uh, just to sort of, I don't know, get myself in the headspace, but also remind myself where we left off. As for what to expect this season, I'm not sure because I didn't actually watch any of the trailers. I don't know. Uh, I feel like there's a lot to surprise me. I did see one, I guess it's not really a spoiler since it was in the trailer, but I did see one reveal on Twitter and that is that Harry Kim will appear at some point, which is exciting. i uh, be happy to see him and happy to, to have Garrett Wong reprise the role. I've been listening to the, um, the Delta Flyers podcast, so I've been hearing a lot of uh, Garrett Wong and, and Robbie, Robbie McNeil's voice, and I've just really been enjoying their 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 watch through of DS9. But it'll be cool to it'll be cool to hear uh, Garrett reprise the role. So looking forward to that. But besides that, I I really have no expectations, no idea what's going to happen, what the potential plot could be for the season. But where we left off, Tendi has rejoined the Syndicate uh, under the command of her sister and. I assume we'll be seeing her do some pirating. I don't know. I'm a, <laughs> I love to see her pirate, so I'm excited for it. Uh, but before I get into this episode, don't forget to like this video if you like it. And if you have anything to say about this episode or the previous episodes, please put it in the comments. Also, if you're not currently subscribed, but you like this kind of content, I'd appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. Uh, it really helps me to stay motivated to get these videos out and helps the channel to grow. So thank you. I, I don't believe I have anything else to say before just getting into this episode. So I think I'll go ahead and do that. Somewhere in the beta quadrant. I'm rich is what I'm saying. Wait, is that a Velton Lust idol? Definitely seen this guy's species before. They say the mere sight of it is an aphrodisiac. Oh. <laughs> Captain, <laughs> the this girl sounds like Tendi, like the voice of Tendi. Shields are be put to the sword. Ugh, crawl back to whatever. Oh no, is it Tendi? Disguised? I I bet it is. Nonsense. My defenses are top of the line. I, I'm fairly, fairly confident that's Tendi. Control the entire ship from this room. Wow, that's the first interesting thing you've said all day. Yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Who the hell are you? I'm the mistress of the Winter Constellations. Oh yeah. You tell them. <laughs> Ooh. Love seeing some badass Orions doing some badass pirating. I thought this time we'd kill some of these guys. Do the whole leave one alive to spread fear thing. Right? But think about how much fear we'll spread if we keep them all alive. Well, can I at least chop off an ear or a finger or something? No. Now load up the loot. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like killing, killing them all except for one would be a little more intimidating, but I don't know. I'm, I love Tendi, so I'm with her. All right, let's see what they've added to this title sequence for the final season. I don't think there was a trail behind the, the, the Star Trek Lower Decks title before this. <laughs> With the hand? What the heck? Don't know what... I, I don't know what that's a reference to. At least nothing's coming to mind. I issue a fleet is out! I'm in the 30 under 30 feature! Oh man, I hope my photo's okay. Heck? Sometimes my nostrils... It's gonna be a bad photo, isn't it? There's 15 honorable mentions. One of them went to Naomi Wildman. She's like 10 <laughs> years old. Oh. <laughs> Oof. I'm still trying to not get thrown in the brig all the time. How am I supposed to be like a leader? You'll be great. <laughs> oh, jeez. What the heck? Just quietly lurking on some work in that dark corner. Hey, man. You've been working your... Is he struggling? Because of Teddy? Nah. I like the way work makes it hard for my brain to focus on the sad stuff. <laughs> Poor Rutherford. <laughs> All right, party people, what's the mish? Oh man, another quantum fissure? This, this... Okay, I remember this from a teaser? I don't know. I did. I guess I didn't avoid all trailers, teasers. Imagine meeting like a bunch of weirdos with like feet for hands or feet for eyes or, you know, <laughs> something more creative. Feet for eyes? That would be interesting. Dunking into the rip like a big old cookie! Damage report? So did they go to some other universe or did set a return course through the Captain, we're being hailed. Hailed? By us. It's the Cerritos. Yep. Hmm. 
Like, I remember parts from the teaser. I thought maybe the, the other Cerritos came through to our side. Cerritos, this is Captain Becky Freeman. <laughs> Looks like we have a lot to discuss. Well, what an interesting uh, predicament this will put uh, Mariner in mentally. One warship for another. Is that a lot? Hmm. From the time of the Great Plague over 300 years ago, bought the location from a rogue archaeologist. Hmm. Fascinating. If I retrieve this thing, we're even. I can go back to the Cerritos. That's the deal. All right, De Erica. Hmm. I don't know. De Erica seems very conniving. Stuck here with uncanny. <laughs> What the heck? Like, like, De Erica has some kind of. From strangling Cardassians, <gasps> I did too. According to scan. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> you say remarkable, while I say fascinating. Remarkable, fascinating. It's almost like we represent each other's <laughs> lives if we'd made slight. <laughs> Bearded Boimler. Space time is still turbulent. King Phillips is right. A directed energy. King Phillips. <laughs> Amazing. This is the prime universe. We'll need Sure. You you can believe that. Pr uh alternate ransom. Everyone pair up with your own counterpart. Well, speaking of which, uh, where's mine? Where am I? Let's just say you didn't make it. I mean, how else would Mariner be captain? Oh, tips. Uh, teach me your ways, oh master. Oh. But seriously, thank you. I I do. I really appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so maybe it won't have a weird effect on her. But maybe it will, I don't know. It's too early to say. With a ship this size, a star base, a moon. But what I was saying is I think De Erica has a, is like scheming. Like there's got to be a catch. Like she, maybe she doesn't think that Tendi will actually be able to get this ship. We have this whole spooky place to ourselves. Let's nose around a bit. Mm, not quite. Green Orions. Blue Orions? Blue. You got rid of all your guts and goo? Now that's commitment. <laughs> I don't know, you would think he would it was it wouldn't be a choice for him to be so cybernetic that it maybe it was maybe it was like an accident. I'll have to be Otherford's Tendi. Otherford. <laughs> yeah. <that's> Otherford. <laughs> that's adorable. So <laughs> I love the the bit of ominous music. Sorry, ma'am. We know, ma'am. Bring this brown noser. Now! Oh. Okay, wow. That's definitely a, a way to discipline your crew. We can work something out! Working with screen? I'd rather die a thousand times. How about just once? Ah. <gasps> well? I'll be right there. Just want to make sure this guy's extra dead. <laughs> yeah, you're not fooling anyone. Initiate energy transfer. Aye, aye Captain. <clears throat> hey, I'm supposed to press the button, you sexy bastard. This is my. <laughs> <laughs> you sexy bastard. Output levels are optimal. Our deflectors are now linked with the bad Cerritos. How dare you? Your Highness. <sighs> Gosh, this is so annoying. Just the the competitiveness between them. The need to be prime. Well, maybe we should contact my counterpart and see if she has any ideas. I mean, what did <laughs> happen to her, by the way? Can we talk? <gasps> oh. I mean, you could assume that you died. Enough! I have had it. What the heck? What the hell? You can't hit people. They could be your crew or your friends. Weird, because I don't hit either one. You're Tamarian's. Yeah, what the hell? Show's over. Get back to work. Well, I'm glad their uniforms are like slightly darker so I can tell uh, which side is which. Don't worry, Rutherford. Everyone in this universe is a little off. Except the me guy. He rules. <laughs> ah, of course. I am not here to make friends. I am here to make friends. Heck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I don't know how ethical that is, but it is an alternate universe. Oh, he's gonna steal it and take it with him. <sighs> Come on, Boimler. Well, I don't know, maybe you missed his vital organs. Yeah, right. I'm a very accurate stabber. As you are about to find out, traitor. Well, what did you expect? 
Are you talking trash with such familiarity because you were under the impression that I am from your dimension? <laughs> Ooh, I, I... <laughs> Mariner, a word. Mm, I don't trust her. What, you gonna hit me with your little riding crop a couple times through the road? Yeah, kinda. No, 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 I was kidding! What? Yeah. Why? I, like, I mean, I kind of expected something like that when... Oh, she, she, oh, she doesn't want to be captain anymore? I don't want to be captain! Well, tough. And you're welcome! Don't you give me that sarcastic Vulcan salute! <laughs> she sounds like so a mom. <laughs> that was really good. But I am not a traitor. I have Don't mess with the mistress. Yeah, we want to kick as much ass as you so we can follow our dreams. I want to bake. <laughs> I want to dance. And I want to teach ethics at Orion University. But <laughs> Okay. Oh, God. This must have been one of the ships they used to cure the Great Plague. If I'm reading these right, it has advanced ventilation. What does Erica want with it, though? Perhaps I have been too hasty in replacing my humanity. It is time to make some memories. Ah, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> the tiny hand. <laughs> Friend Amundo, were you? Friend Amundo? Uh, uh, some, something new <laughs> I'm trying. I love it! Talyn's gonna figure it out. She's already, like, looking at her suspiciously. Don't make too many mistakes, or you'll end up at Starbase 80, just like our Captain Freeman. What? <laughs> That's the worst station in Starfleet! <laughs> okay, well, she didn't die, but maybe that's worse? Wait! Computer, release binds. Authorization, Captain Becky Freeman. Acknowledged. Captain Freeman. <laughs> Simple enough. Hail them! Declined. <laughs> when we take this ship, finally no one will scoff at the blue Orions. Yeah, they will fear and respect us instead of seeing- I feel like the blue Orions are, are a deep cut that I am not aware of. Maybe it's in the animated series. I love not killing people! <laughs> I mean, Erica's not going to be too happy that that Tendi is encouraging uh, these pirates to, to not be pirates. Oh, it's me! It's me, the real Mariner! I can prove it! Last week, you asked me to look at a weird mole! Yeah, I, I already know it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Boimler, you're acting captain. On it. Damn, he's good. Damn, he's good. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> All right, so what's Erica's plan? Why does she want this ship? And what's the catch? Where'd you get that thing? No, I don't know. Nothing. All right, whatever, weirdo. <laughs> okay, well, not as significant as I thought it might be. Remarkable. Wait, are you? I have fooled you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> or did she? Hmm. Mrs. Erica! Mrs. Erica! The what? Blue Orions have declared war! What? Why? Of course. This is my mess. I'm gonna stay and clean it up. All right. If it's a war they want, they can have At least she's staying on her own terms. But war is never good. Oof. All right. Solid season premiere. Uh, I enjoyed it. I mean, I don't know. It's hard not to enjoy Lower Decks. Uh, it's just such a good show. Glad to see Tendi being a pirate. And seeing her encourage other Orions to live their dreams. Also, I guess I was wrong in that De Erica wasn't didn't didn't have some sort of catch with this whole sh Orion ship. I mean, I could be. I mean, I could still. It could still prove me right in the next episode. Maybe she's the one that set up the Blue Orions to show up, and maybe she she knew that Tendi was soft and not being a full-on pirate, and this was just her manipulation to get her to to stay voluntarily. But. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll find out. I enjoyed the whole alternate reality situation. Thought that was funny. Seeing the different versions of all these characters. King Billups, Long Hair Shacks, Bearded Boimler, Cyborg, Rutherford, and then Becky, Becky Freeman. I don't know. It was frustrating at times. The whole, like, oh, we're the prime universe and 
like just the competition between the two and i thought i thought that uh boy Moyer stealing the pad would be more significant but i mean i guess there's more to come uh in the season so and it's that's that's not something that they would likely forget in terms of continuity this show's pretty good with continuity i think so uh, maybe 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 it'll have some influence in the future the blue orions i don't recognize them i i, I mean i would venture to guess that it's from the animated series which i haven't seen um i guess i could look it up okay yeah this is definitely a reference to the animated series uh, including the pronunciation that they were using oof well i mean that's uh, that's fun uh i really need to watch the animated series i just i just haven't i don't know haven't had the time or motivation as of recent but i probably will so keep an eye out uh, glad that Rutherford Rutherford got a sort of dose dose of reality with his alternate counterpart, seeing what he could have, what he could become if if he continues to let himself be depressed about Tendi. I enjoyed the little joke that Talyn made at the end, although it made me a little suspicious. I don't think that'll come back, but I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sol solid first episode of the season. Uh, I'm curious to see. How Mariner is going to be with mentoring these ensigns? I'm sure. I'm sure we'll get to see more of that. I'm curious how this war with the Orions is is going to be. The Orions and the Orions. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it the way that they did, but yeah, uh, should should be interesting. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments. Uh, looking forward to getting into the next episode, although it may not be right away. But but I appreciate your patience, uh, and hopefully I will see you guys next time.